So we've come to the end of April 2021, about to go into May 2021, which means it's officially five months since I've been in cinema, which is just, it's just heartbroken. But at this stage, I'm just, just getting used to it. But as well, with the end of another month, it means it's time for another Blu-ray haul. <laughs> So I got a couple of Blu-rays here and then one figure. The figure is Mad Max. I am making my way through the series again. I watched, I haven't seen Fury Road in about two, three years. But I haven't seen the original one since Fury Road came out. Before that movie came out, I was thinking, okay, I have to watch the other three leading up to it now. I know you don't have to watch it, but I watched them back then. So it's been six years since I've seen those movies. So as of right now, the last one I watched was uh, Road Warrior or Mad Max 2. And I was on my iPhone and I looked, thought, is there Mad Max Pop Finals? Looked up, saw it was a Mad Max one, so I immediately picked it up. I love how this one even looks like Tom Hardy. Even though there's no mouth, even though there's the eyes, there's a big black eyes it looks strangely like tom hardy so i had to pick up a mad max pop vinyl to go with my action hero so now i've got mad max john wick john mcclain and james bond there's other ones out there that i would like to get but some of them i just i don't know there's not i can't even think of any other action heroes i would like to get for that collection maybe a rambo be cool but who knows then to move on to the blu-rays which is it's a small enough pile not a massive one I went down for a drive the other day with my girlfriend, went to this store called Deals that sells all these Blu-rays for €3. Euro. So I picked up sex tape. I picked it up for a euro because it wouldn't scan so the woman just picked up whatever was closest to her, which happily enough was €1, euro, scanned it so I got this for a euro. I hadn't seen this one since it came out back in 2014. I remember thinking it was funny enough. I think Cameron Diaz has her moments where she can be very funny. And same with Jason Siegel. I think he can be funny in part. So I put it on the other night thinking, oh, yeah, I remember enjoying this and it, it's bad. It's got a joke or two that I found funny. But for the majority of the movie, I was ridiculously bored. And I really didn't think this was funny. I don't think I'm going to go back anytime soon and rewatch this. I don't think I'm ever actually planning on going back and rewatching this. But anyways, I got it for a euro with a slipcover too and a... The uh, digital download code for so for a euro for a Blu-ray digital download code, you couldn't go wrong for what it was an hour and a half of a movie. I also rewatched the Entourage movie this month, which inspired me to then go back and pick up the Entourage complete series. I watched Entourage 2016, 2015, really enjoyed it. I thought it was just a lot of fun. I kind of think Entourage is like the adult version of Big Time Rush, the TV show from Nickelodeon, where it's just a bunch of lads living in Hollywood, having a lot of fun, and it's just, it's just fun to watch the gang just hang out and just hang out in Hollywood, just going to parties, going to all these places. I just enjoy it. Even though majority of these lads in the show are assholes, Ari Gold in particular, I just have fun watching them. So I just picked up the Entourage box set just to just have it on the background because I haven't seen this in again five, six years since I've actually last watched the series where I end up watching the movie at least once a year which is something it's just handy to show on I also picked up chef this is just like with sex tape where I haven't actually seen it since 2014 since it came out but it's been on my mind for the past two years to pick it up but I've never actually been able to find it finally came across it I've watched the chef's the uh, chef's chef show John Favreau has as well I just I love John Favreau. I think he's actually my favorite working director at the moment. Everything he does, I just get excited for it. Whether it's the Marvel movies he's acting in, or he's producing a Star Wars TV series, probably going to produce a lot more as well. Just his Disney live action movies. I just think he's a fairly consistent director. That no matter what he does, I'm going to go in love. And I just think this movie is fantastic. I love that it's his passion project. You can see that he's putting his heart and soul into this movie, and it's just it's such a pleasant watch. This movie, though, I had to pause it. I'd say three or four times throughout the entirety of the runtime to get something to eat because the food looks gorgeous in this movie. Even just a grilled cheese sandwich made me just so starving during out this movie. Also, I was in the mood to rewatch Ted. I haven't rewatched Ted, but I picked up Ted on Steelbook. Not a massive fan of the back, but I love the front of the Steelbook as well. I haven't seen this in a few years, but from memory, I, I really enjoy Ted. The inside is just them sitting there laughing. I'm not a fan of the sequel. I actually never finished it. I watched the first, I'd say, 40 minutes and I turned it off because I, I couldn't watch it anymore. But I will watch this at some point this month because Ted is a funny enough movie and I, I love Mila Kunis. So I will watch that soon. Also picked up 
District 9 was a movie I actually watched for the first time earlier this year so I've been kind of keeping my eyes out to pick it up. I wasn't really a fan of the ordinary Blu-ray but then I came across this steelbook so I picked it up. I think this is a really good movie. I heard that they're actually in the middle of kind of organizing a script to get written for District 10 which is a movie I would actually like to see because the way this movie wraps up really lets it that you could do with a sequel so hopefully we'll get District 10 in the near future. And then this one next up is actually one of two blind buys I went into it this month. First up was Your Next. I heard some positive things, but not a lot of positive things. I hadn't heard any negatives, but I heard one or two people saying that this is a really, really good movie. So I think it was six euro for the Blu-ray that said, you know, what? I'll get it. I'll watch it, see what it's like. But this movie is honestly awesome. The horror elements aren't as horrific as you'd like to be. But the Carnage Kennedy, this movie is bloody as fuck. The way people die in this movie, this movie is just so much fun. I cannot wait to go back and re-watch this movie. It reminded me of The Strangers, but I like what they did more in this movie than they, what they did in The Strangers. With The Strangers, there's only two people, so there couldn't really be a lot of killing throughout the movie. But this movie, there's so many people that can die, and it just it's such an awesome movie. So if you have not seen Your Next, I highly recommend you pick up Your Next on Blu-ray, because it's honestly worth the money. And then last year, they dropped the I Know What You Did Last Summer box set. I didn't pick it up for some reason, but I picked up this version of the box set, which is a smaller spine, so it kind of worked out well. I actually haven't seen the, um, what's it called? I Always Know What You Did Last Summer. I had a feel, I heard that that's actually not connected with the first two at all. I really like the first one. I get a lot of fun out of the first one. The second one, I kind of found to be really boring because they were on an island by themselves with no one else there besides four people. So I found that one to be quite a boring movie and I'm not really looking forward to what I, I always know I did last summer because I haven't heard the best of things. But I'll be watching that soon enough and I probably will end up re-watching the first two because I get enjoyment out of those two anyways. Well, mostly the first one. But I did pick up that one as well. It's just, I love the artwork. I don't think there's, memory there's no poster inside. No, but you got, um... Sarah Michelle Geller, you've got ooh, what's his name? Her husband. And then you got the killer. I wonder if it's the same killer as it was in the first two. Just stuff like that makes you want to know. There's so many questions I have about this. I I'll always know what you did last summer that makes me want to watch it because I don't know anything about it. So I actually might watch that tonight because it's only like slightly over an hour and a half. Also, my girlfriend's favourite director is Wes Anderson. Her favourite movie by Wes Anderson, which is probably her favourite movie, is Fantastic Mr. Fox, which is a movie I had never seen before. I knew the story, but I had never actually seen the movie. So we watched the um, the Grand Budapest Hotel. It was her first time. It was my first time since 2014. So we watched that with her. I, I forgot how great that movie was. So when the movie was over, I ordered this one on Amazon as a surprise for her. I... I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. I thought Grand Budapest Hotel was a lot better. She loved it, so it was worth it for that much alone. But I did. I had fun with it, but I did not love this movie. I wouldn't say it's one of his favourites of mine, but I've only seen that. I Love Dogs and um, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. I Love Dogs is probably my least favourite animal. I probably will end up picking up more of his movies and watching them all just because she loves him as a director so I think we'll probably sit down and watch some of his movies together but as of right now they're the three I've seen. Also this month we got Doctor Who season 8 on Blu-ray. I love Peter Capaldi's Doctor so I'm really excited to go back and re-watch this. I only actually got it the other day so I haven't actually sat down to watch any Doctor Who but really excited to watch this. I'm not really a massive fan of the cover. I like the back cover. But I don't really like the front. I love the purple colour design though. I like that. But the front. I just. I'm not mad. And maybe it's because his suit jacket and her dress is purple. So it kind of just all blends out. But I just. I'm not really a fan of that cover. Also I picked this one up for cheap enough. I hadn't seen uh, Planet Hulk in a few years. But for whatever reason. It was just on my mind to watch it. But this is a bad movie. I remember loving this one. When I was a kid. When this first came out in. Um. 2010 when I would have watched it first and then I hadn't seen it. and then I just kind of was in my mind to rewatch this movie lately I haven't actually read the comic it's this has been also a comic I've wanted to pick up as well as a uh, World War Hulk I haven't picked up either of those but they've been on my mind to pick those up but this is a bad movie I don't I did not like it I found it boring I felt it really dragged out and I feel like if I want to watch a Hulk movie that is like this I'd rather watch Thor Ragnarok because at least Hulk has got Thor to bounce off because Hulk doesn't really work on his own in this movie. He definitely needs people to bounce off of. 
And then last month we got Godzilla vs Kong. I rewatched all the MonsterVerse movies and one of my biggest takeaways after watching those movies was that I needed to pick up Kong Skull Island on 4K just to get that perfect quality. So my 4K upgrade this month was Kong Skull Island. Just a fantastic movie, really gorgeous. I think it's I still think it's my second favourite in the MonsterVerse just after Godzilla vs Kong but this is a fantastic movie and the next month or well, in June 12th I think it is we're getting uh, Godzilla vs Kong so I'll be picking that up day one on Blu-ray and I'm very excited to do so. This was the first time watching it and after I watched it I immediately ordered it on Blu-ray. Wonder. This is a beautiful movie, honestly. I think on Wilson, Julia Roberts and Jacob Tremblay, who I think is going to go places. This kid is fantastic. Everything I've seen him in, whether it's Room or that one scene in um, Doctor Sleep or the Bo or what's it called, Good Boys. He's a fantastic actor and then just what he does in this movie, you feel for him throughout the entire movie. But not only him, you feel for all the supporting characters, his family, his friends. You feel everything throughout this movie and it's just the ending when he gets that spoiler warning when he gets the award at the end of the school year was just it was a beautiful beautiful movie and if you haven't seen it i 100 percent recommend you see it second last thing here is the ace vanchero box or ace vanchera box set i i was massive on the first one i used to love it when i was a kid i hadn't actually seen them in years so i picked up this movie box set again and re-watching it i wasn't really a big fan of the first one. I kind of found it to be really ridiculously stupidly annoying. I haven't gone back to the second one yet because even as a kid I didn't like that one so I'm in no hurry to go back and watch the second one. But I've seen the first one again and it was fine. And then last Blu-ray I picked up which was also one of my blind buys. Copland. I've heard about this movie for God knows how long. I've been so interested for to watch it. It's directed by James Mangold, who's directing Indiana Jones 5. He directed Ford v Ferrari and, and uh, Logan. It's Stallone. It's got Robert De Niro. It's got Ray Liotta. It's got so many people. I've been ridiculously excited to watch it. And honestly, it is awesome. I don't really like all the gangster movies like um, Goodfellas or Casino. Like I like them. I enjoy them. I've got them on Blu-ray. But I don't love them. But I just thought this movie here was fantastic it could be because of Stallone and Stallone's one of my favorite actors but honestly this is a movie that I am really excited to go back and rewatch. and I've been recommending it to people left right and center after asking for a movie I've been saying watch Copland because it's a great great movie that's all the blu-rays comic books I uh, picked up issues or volumes 15 16 and 17 of Invincible. I fell off Invincible a couple of years back. Not out of like not loving it. Because I think it's a fantastic comic series. I just I got busy. And then I just never picked up the issues again. But then with the series dropping. I watched all the episodes. I loved the series. I want to go back and read the comic books. Just to be ahead of it all. Because fantastic, comics, fantastic TV series. Amazing comic book series. I'm just really excited to continue with this comic series. So probably next month I will have probably be getting like 18, 19, 20. Just to continue. Because I think... I'm close enough to the end. I think volume 22 is like the last issue or volume. So I'm really looking forward to finishing Invincible. But that is everything I picked up in the month of April. Make sure you let me know what you pick. Well, I let me know what you picked up in the month of April in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite thing I picked up this month was. And as always, thanks for watching.